Hey, Dad. Hey, Don. How's uh, what you learn in school today? Well, I learned about the usual stuff. You know, like math and history. But then we learned about some stories. Oh, yeah? What kind of stories? Um, well, a couple. There's one, his, his name was Noah, and he liked animals a lot, and so he made a boat and put them all in it for when water came. And then there was one where there was two friends, and they uh, decided that they should walk on water. So that sounded fun. And then there was one where um, his name was Moses, and he split a whole sea in half with a stick. Wait up. What kind of boat was this? Um, I don't know. I I saw it, and it was called like the uh, the Holly Holly Bible. Holy Bible? Yeah, yeah, that's the one. Boy, that escalated quickly. Yeah, that got out of hand fast. That yeah, jumped up a notch. It really did, didn't it? I mean, you have a dart in your leg. Yeah, yeah, it should... Yeah, I didn't notice that till now. Is that where we're headed to? Is to go to the doctor? No. Nah. We're going to see your teacher to get this cleared up. Oh, hello, Mr. Shamp. What can I do for you today? Well, I don't know. I feel like my religion, uh, my religious rights are being violated here. Oh, what seems to be the problem? Well, my daughter just told me that uh, she's been reading Bible verses in class. Uh, oh, yeah, that's, no. just, that's just part of our daily lesson plan. Yeah, well, uh, we don't believe in that stuff, so... Uh, it's kind of violating our First Amendment rights here. Oh, uh, well, it's Pennsylvania State law that requires us to have these readings every day. No. Oh, uh, well, like, there's nothing else I can I'd, do for you. I'd like to see something now about this. Uh, there's nothing I can do for you today, for you to do. See you in court, bro. representing the Arvington School District of Pennsylvania, and Mr. Shemp has filed a lawsuit against us that, that prohibits a Pennsylvania state law. This law requires that our children read or hear at least 10 Bible stories at the start of each day. We are not asking much. I don't see why it is such a big problem or violation of his religious freedom. I'll tell you why it's such a big deal. This violates my family's rights under the First and Fourteenth Amendment which clearly state that Congress cannot prohibit the exercise of religion. If you are a Christian, which I assume you are, how would you feel if I was to make you read Scientology books every day? Since my children are not part of this religion, I do not believe that my children should be subjected, subjected to partake in such activities as it is against their religious beliefs. Not only that, but the Establishment Clause in the First Amendment ensures that Congress shall make no law respecting an establishment of religion. And it seems to me that Christianity is being favored in this case. Arguments for both cases have been heard and is reviewed carefully. On this day, the 17th of June, 1963, the court has ruled an 8-1 ruling. We have ruled in favor of Mr. Shemp. It will be no longer a law to demand students to recite Bible verses in public schools. I've paid my dues Time after time my sentence but committed no crime and by mistakes I've made a few I've had my share